The other day I was thinking to myself, is there a way to scam IRL traders? Well the truth is I don't even know, but I was determined to find out. My first step was to find a plan. I knew that I couldn't take any coins because that would be bannable. So the best way I thought of was to add them to my co-op and have them die some way so they'd lose half their coins. There was one problem though. The only way he could get them to join my co-op is if I were to spend money to get coins. As much as I don't want to support IRL traders, I realized this was the only option. It took around two hours to find a Discord server that didn't have an insane minimum pur purchase. Now, this is the part where I started to doubt my plan. How would I make them die on my own island and get them to give the coins to account, then die on my own island without having them realize it was a death trap? Even with this grueling thought in the back of my head, I continued the process. My plan was to put a bunch of monsters inside so anyone who would spawn would immediately die to the monsters and lose their coins. The problem was that number one, it would be pretty easy to tell it was a trap if they spawned in the wooden back and got killed by monsters, and also it was in the wrong spot, the people spawned the green island. At this point I was faced with a little bit of a dilemma, should I continue the trap or should I just give it up altogether? But I was determined so I called my friend. This is our first of dying. It was just a normal lava trap. Now you're just that Oh, you're just that worked. Dying. Maybe yourself? I shouldn't have. And yeah, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. I okay, I'm telling myself to see where I spawn. Not there. I don't I don't think you would. That's also, if you're wondering where I got the coins, uh yes. But there was one issue that we hadn't thought about yet. If we're gonna convince the IRL trader to join our co-op, they'll have to transfer the coins over from a different account to that account to actually give us the coins. So that means the second they join, they can't die or else our whole plan would be fail. But at this point, Hershey had to go, so I was all on my own. I decided my best option was a TNT trap. Basically how the trapped work is once they join the co-op, I would run over the chest plate and they would get blown up and lose all of their coins. Then I pretend it was an accident and asked for the coins back and essentially make them lose double their coins. I officially decided it was time. As much as I didn't want to, I had to. I had to spend $5 to actually get this thing to work. And if you didn't know, I currently don't have a very good computer, and I've been saving up for a computer. So even though it's a minor setback, all I can ask is if you can please subscribe. And just like I expected, my suspicions were true. I had been scammed. But as all hope seemed lost, I had one more idea. Okay, so I'm gonna make a fake Discord server and get people to join and then trick an IRL trader into giving me coins. I don't remember the message, but eventually I found somebody who wanted to sell their coins. I had them join my Discord server and made a few alts. It still looks super sketch, but for some reason they believed it. Bro, okay, there's no way this actually works, right? No way. No way he actually accepts this. Nah, he's, he's, he's... Okay, I can't, I actually can't believe I just scammed, like, an actual IRL trader. Um, like, subscribe, please, bye. Alright, I actually am just gonna drown myself to get rid of all these coins, because they are, might be IRL traded, I don't think they are.